John Mayer would rather do it on the internet. Going down under takes on a whole new meaning, and Jared Leto's my hero. My name is Martini Bierman, and this is News That Rocks. John Mayer, that hot rocker hunk of songwriting man, blames technology of the 21st century and his constant twitterings as some of the reasons why he and Jennifer Aniston broke up. Apparently, he seems to think that Jen's request for privacy and their almost 10 year age difference means that Jen was raised around the dark ages. I mean, she's clearly the unbalanced one in this situation, right? Why wouldn't you want your equally famous boyfriend twittering and telling people what your breath smells like in the morning, where the two of you guys are going to be going for lunch that day, or what his junk looks like? Congratulations, John Mayer. From now on, you're going to be known as the guy who chose the internet over sex. If it's not bad enough that the Men at Work song Down Under makes about a million sexual references, which actually makes it my kind of song, and brings back any number of reoccurring 80s nightmares involving some heavy neon and spandex, the song is now also tied to a kookaburra, which is a type of bird, and the most catchy Barney song ever. And don't tell me you haven't caught yourself singing it on your way to work. You know that funny little fiddle thing that happens at the start of the song? Well, it's going to cost the band millions, because they borrowed that from the kookaburra song and then got caught. With all those royalties to pay back, I'm now sensing a kind of ironic twist to their choice of band names. I just love Jared Leto. He sings, he acts, he's so hot, and he's willing to drag away a potential terrorist just to save his audience. He's like the ultimate That's the ultimate man, just in case. When a random guy dashed across stage and dropped a suspicious package at Leto's feet while his rock band 30 Seconds to Mars was trying to have a screening of their new documentary at LA's The Hive, Leto went all hulk on the guy and ripped him away from the crowd. Don't worry, it turns out there never actually was a bomb inside the package, although I kind of want to know what was in there. And when it comes to clearing your crowd, whatever happened to good old-fashioned streaking, huh? Aw, that wraps up yet another glorious news that rocks. If you guys like what you saw, please go ahead and rate and subscribe to our videos on YouTube. You can also add me, Martini, at rock.com forward slash martini, where I've just loved receiving your comments and messages because it makes me feel like I'm getting a chance to know some of the people within our rock.com community, which is awesome. You can also add and follow us right here on Twitter. And don't forget to check out rock.com, the official site of rock music for all of your rock music news, as well as our rock.com store where you can get any number of awesome rock in apparel for men, women, and toddlers. Also guys, you'll soon be able to get this cool rock.com shirt from our store, so I'll keep you posted on that. My name is Martini Behrman with a special shout out to my friends Call Chris, Misfits1977, Rex Raptor, and Demon13X. Those are some hot names, guys. Thanks for adding me, I really appreciate it. Also guys, here's a reminder to leave your comments by clicking the blog link below. It's really an opportunity for you to weigh in on what's going on within our rock.com community and within the general rock community. So why not go ahead and do that? I look forward to hearing your responses. May you guys have a wonderful rest of your week, and we'll see you guys next time.